Fine, so here we go. Uh, for all of you who want to take a closer look later on, um, the slides will be available as an online version on speaker deck and uh, slide sharing it uh, within the next days. I'm Tim Casco, I'm an uh, art and creative director, and I'm a really big fan of infographics, of course from the point of an art director. Yeah? So uh, uh, as long as infographics are such a big field, uh, I have split my talk into three short segments. Um, one is the, the one with examples, which we will have today. The second one will be uh, next, uh, next month, month. When, when, yeah, with a little overview on which infographic would be the best thing for your uh, project. And the third one will be how to make them yourself in a good and nice and easy way. So today we're just talking about the examples. And uh, well, there's the title, The Good, the bad and the ugly. They just fit it so perfectly because they are the good, the bad and the ugly. You will see. Uh, of course, you know this is a Western title from a uh, famous movie. And uh, here we go and we start with the ugly. So, uh, thanks to Edward Snowden, uh, Julian Assange, and Vicky Leakes, uh, and uh, Edmund de Victoria, <coughs> right? Uh, we have these, uh, these are real slides from the NSA about the PRISM, uh, well, the PRISM project, you know that. And uh, as you can see, well, these are the slides we know and see often. And obviously somebody at NSA was very proud how good he could download some logos from the internet. So, my first thing would be, this is of course too many logos because this is the first uh, first chart of, of this uh, um, presentation. Uh, so, we got too many logos. And too many fonts and too many character sizes, just cut it down because this chart could look like this. That would be nice. So, next chart from the NSA, original charts. We have mumbo jumbo text here on the left side, much too much text, of course, and nobody can read the captions there. So, this slide could be that. Much better. And everybody would look at love NSA at that time. Another slide, two text sides. Uh, lots of bullet points, I don't even know if they shoot at the NSA, but too many bullets on the left side, as well as on the right, so I would uh, say, let's split the info, support the text with icons and logos, and do this slide on two slides. So, this could look like, first this, second that. Wonderful, nice, everybody will do the NSA. Um, here we got something everybody knows. Uh, such timelines, and we got down there some something like a, well, should be bigger. At least confusing timeline, poorly legible, yeah, and the result is not clear what somebody wants to say to us. So we have it, uh, split this in two, support the text with icons and logos as well, as I did before, and we get out of this chart a nice and easy timeline to see when is what happening, and we have a big result side. Yeah? So everybody knows, okay, it's going to be about millions. So this was just the part of the ugly. Now we're coming to the bad. I don't know if you know her. This is Mary Meeker. Uh, she publishes every year some data about the internet. And it's, uh, she really got good data, but she doesn't got a good designer. The problem is uh, it's already better than NSA, absolutely. But I still say we have, uh, we have to set the fonts right, the character setting, we need less color, less shading in the color, and this slide could look like that. How nice is it? Have this side here, yeah, numbers, 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 as if there were only numbers out in the internet, and the only three uh, important ones are already lined up there. So, again, font setting, character sizes, less color, less shading, less numbers, and this slide could like this. Yeah? Another slide, and this is really hard to read. Yeah, in case, in that example, I would even uh, uh, say, what about a more transparent system? Yeah? So a slide like that could look like this. Easy to compare things, easy to see what's going on. Uh, for example, another boring slide, 
boring because oh, just text. Text is always boring. Yeah. So uh, what about get into the sequence and color and icons? So this slide would look like. I'm sorry, it was too fast. Look like that. I'm just speeding up a bit because nobody has time today. You know. Um, again, boom. Text and text which uh, should be compared to each other. So. Uh, you have to make some relations obvious in texts often. Uh, for example, in this one, just split it in two parts. Quite nice, easy, easy to read, easy to see what's going on. Whoa, this is a very interesting site. Uh, lots of numbers again, some ugly photos from different photographers. Uh, who needs this? Nobody. So get rid of useless pictures. And in that case, we accentuate on the numbers, because the numbers are the important thing here. So that slide could easily look like this. Just, well, as you can see, the logos and some very important numbers. So here's another one. Uh, not so easy to, to get through that, what they want to tell us. So sometimes you just have to try new ways of visualization. Uh, like this slide could easily look like that. Very uh, outstanding. Um, and if you get down to it, it's much easier to read than the first one. Another one, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a bit dry. Uh, as you see, there's one high chart and one high chart is missing. Uh, instead of it, we just have a funny picture of old TV. <coughs> and again, these two sides should compare. So let's just clean up and get in shape. Get rid of the photos, use some uh, nice icons, and it could look like that. You have two pie charts directly comparable to each other, clean and neat. So this will be bad. And that, as I said, very good coming now. Uh, it's pretty easy to talk about the good because they're good. <laughs> of course, yeah. So, uh, I just give you some inspiration to look for uh, on sites and on people who are handling uh, graphics and infographics just the right way. For example, the site uh, www.good is, I think it's Iceland, um, maybe it's just a domain, but uh, they're doing very nice infographics, clean, pure uh, slates. I'm just clicking through it, you don't have to read it, just get it um, to your mind. Wonderful infographic, I love this. Another one, Pop Chart Lab, I don't know if you know them. Uh, they're selling nice, nice neat posters from infographics like this or that. It's, I think this is breweries in America. Uh, whiskey, whoever is into whiskey or cocktails, this is my, more my, my thing, cocktails and films. Um, and uh, sandwich boards, but as you see, very nicely, neatly made. Yeah? So another one uh, which is very interesting for you to, well, if you want to make your own chart, is Design Mantic, because they give out their Ten Commandments. This is pretty colorful, looks a bit uh, LSD-like, but it's really interesting because they just line up the uh, main things you have to think of if you make infographics for Ten Commandments of User Interface, Ten Commandments of Typography. They have Ten Commandments nearly for everything. Another one, for all of you who love wine, WineFolly.com, wonderful site, wonderful graphics about wine. Um, well, how it tastes, uh, what you compare to it, what's food, and so on. Very interesting, different styles of infographics. Uh, and. Uh, then we have some inspiration, like now we're going to talk, go to talks. Tito von Derpschitz, he talked uh, on TEDx Rhein Main uh, about Fritz Kahn, one of the early pioneers of infographic. Very interesting talk. If you want to go down deep on it and where it all comes from. Another one you may know is Hans Rosling. He's a master of data uh, and maybe also on visualization. You will find him on TEDcom. Um, Really interesting data, really interesting stuff he's doing with that. Hans Rosling. Another one is David McCandless, also in TechCom. You will find him doing.
doing wonderful infographics, really good stuff. I will recommend this, absolutely. Another one of my personal heroes, his site is called Presentation Zen, and he's kind of a Zen master in this. And uh, it's not just infographics, it's also uh, highly um, focused on uh, presentation, uh, presentations and uh, how to present them. His name is Gal Reynolds, I think it's a uh, uh, Canadian US who lives in Japan, and you see the Japan style in, in his graphics. Um, so you will find him also on TED, he had some talks, and of course he is kind of clean and pure, just this is, this is Japan style, you can easily tell this by just looking at it. And it's boom, it's a fine graphics. <coughs> Another one, MLN de Cuba. He makes very good things on MLN Me. Like cutting down things to bold graphics and, and color, like this. Another one, and uh, he's, I'm, I'm, this is one of somebody's side I'm really, well, checking every morning, uh, Chaz Newton. You get him on uh, Instagram as Insta Chaz, and he's, let's say, a little bit down on the ground because what he does is he makes infographics on little post-it notes, but very clever, clear, and good infographics. I will stand that this stand for me so that you can read it. Because <coughs> this is very important to know. <coughs> Here's another one of them. That easy, you can, do it. you can make good infographics. One of my most loved ones is this. <laughs> so like this is a light, nice timeline, as you see. Yeah? So, this is really good. And of course, for good work, you need to hire good people. It's just that easy. As it is. Yeah. And uh, as I was talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly, I have the unexpected now. And this is a little Venn diagram uh, I have used for a talk. <coughs> well, I used some primary colors from printing. Uh, and I had a talk with this diagram. You can explain the whole world with it. You will find that on uh, YouTube, on the BM uh, Web Monday Frankfurt 77. The title was Das Leben des Universum und der ganze Rest. And uh, I just brought you one little part of it because it may be useful for you. So, uh, think of your client or your boss. Your client wants the job to be done fast, good, and cheap, of course. So you got these mixing parts, because fast and good is always expensive. Good and cheap is always slow. And fast and cheap is most and very ugly. You know? What your client wants is that thing in the middle, <laughs> which is uh, the quick sense of this Venn diagram, but it's of course absolutely impossible. So, I will leave you with that little thing, and uh, since I'm unfortunately out of posters, I do have, uh, I do have still stickers I will hand you on. And just take this thing, stick it next to your workstation or your telephone, wherever you have to negotiate with your client or your boss about pricing, <laughs> or maybe with your girlfriend. Uh, well, I'm not uh, too deep into this. It's just a handy infographic. Now we give that to you. So, I say goodbye, bye-bye. Thank you.